Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the fall through attributes. That is nothing but attribute inheritance. So here we are having the in the app dot view we are having this my button and we are sending the class and the style and also the event listeners here through the component as a props. But actually these are not props. These are fall through attributes which we doesn't mention these things in the props here in this component. So if you don't mention in the props and all those things. Then what will happen automatically these things will be appended to the root element. This is the concept what we have learned. For example, let's say that, okay, let's say that we have an another component like base button. So I'm having another component like base button dot view and this base button dot view in return will have a my button. This one will be having a my button. So not the my button thing. Here I will be using the script setup and here I will import the my button my button here from view. So my button we are using. So in the app dot view instead of using this my button I will use the base button. Okay I am using the base button. So this base button is imported and here I let's close let's remove this one. So this base button this base button we are sending the class and style and also the event listener to here so where in this one the root element is the my button right so now what will happen is if a component renders the another component as its root node so in this example let's say that my button is rendering by a base button okay so we are not using the my button directly here it is rendering through the base button base button is having a root node as a another component like my button in this scenario then the fall through attributes, what are the attributes are there which we are sending it to the base, base button. So these all the fall through attributes will be automatically forwarded. Okay, forwarded to the base button. So here it will be forwarded to the my button. So that is the thing I want to tell you. Now if you try to see the output. So here we are having the class and all those things. And here the my button will be forwarded to the my button here. And these things will be having the merged values like button large and color will be red like this and you will be having the two child clicks also. Let's see the output here. If I try to refresh this page and let's see the inspect element and here this one see it is forwarded. So it is forwarded here button large and style color red like this sample button. And now if I click on this one both child and parent will be fine. Okay. So now you, are, you need to understand that forward attributes do not have do not include any attributes that are declared as props or VF non listeners of declared elements by my button. In other words, the declared props and listeners have been consumed by the my button. <clears throat> Fine. So we understood this one. So now if I want to disable this inheritance thing, so why? Because I am sending you this one from the app dot view to the base button. And again, this base button is sending to another component. So this means nested component inheritance. It is going on with a nested component inheritance. If I want to disable this attribute inheritance, then what I want to do. So if you don't want, if you do not want a component to automatically inherit the attributes, you can set a property inherits false in the components options. So here in the script setup, if you are following this concept, what you need to do is you need to write another script. Okay. And here, so you need to write another script and here you need to write export fault. And here I can write inherit, inherit attributes to false. That's it. So now if you try to add this inherit attribute inherit attributes to false, then not here. We need to use it in the base button. Base button. Okay. We're using in the my button. Sorry. So through the base button, it should not be inherited. Now the my button will not receive this type of thing. Here, if you try to see refresh this page. So here this is simply the yellow button why because those are not carry forwarded now if you click on this one only the child clicked will be fine so like this you will be having so this is the common scenario so the common scenario for disabling the attribute inheritance is when attributes need to be applied to other elements besides the root node so why we, why we will be using this inherits false and all those things means if you want these attributes instead of applying to the root node to other some selected element means then we will be using this option to false so that you can take the full control over the fall through attributes. So these, <clears throat> so now here we have understood this one. 
so we have understood the inheritance things how to control the inheritance things also we have understood now the another thing what i want to tell you is so here for let's example let's say that i am having two uh, let's say that i am having the do here okay and inside this my button you will be having this right so now for which one it will be applied if you don't have this inherits false okay this will be applied to the development or the base button development see the output here refresh this page see here if you go and if you visit this one for the due button it has been applied why because the due is the root element here my button is not the root element due is the root element so because of that reason it has applied to this due element i want i don't want to apply this one to the root element i want to apply it to the my button then what you need to do is so that means you need to take the control so you need to mention the inherits false like this and here we need we can access the attributes using a method using a template expression that is dollar uh, sorry in the method uh, dollar attrs so here you can write something like i will show you this one here you call call through attributes colon here i can write dollar attrs so this is the method this is the property and this property we can use it directly so here you will be able to see class large and all those things we are able to see now in order to apply this one so what we need to do we can directly write it using the v hyphen bind is equal to here i can apply it directly to here v hyphen bind is equal to dollar attrs that's it automatically the dollar attrs instead of applying to the root element it will be applied to the my button see the output here sample button has a thing and button large and all the things is there if i click on this one both the things will be fine so this is how we can use the dollar attrs in the template expression fine so this is this one is fine for example let's say that you are having a multiple root nodes. say uh, in view 3 multiple root nodes is also accepted so let's remove this one okay and here uh, you are having a div uh, leela web dev we are having a multiple root nodes so here we are having multiple root nodes like this one is a one root node and this is also a root node so now in this scenario i am not applying anything so here let's remove this one all i am not using the inheritance so that means automatically it will try to apply to the root element but here there are there are two root elements then what we need to do if you try to see here automatically vue.js will throw a warning for you what type of warning it will throw let's try to see and so in the this button app dot view i am passing this one this button receiving and here access it instead of access yeah now if you see the output see here we are able to see the warning why because it is trying to tell that you are you, you are not having one root element so i am not try i am not able to apply the these all props to here so now what it will try to do is so here how can I apply it is asking then what you need to do is in this scenario so directly you can use the vif and bind attributes so I want to apply only to this one so you can use the vif and bind is equal to dollar attrs now you will not get any warning this type of warning you will not get any better I refresh this thing so warning and go away so like this so if you are having multiple root template means then you can use this dollar attrs and you can explicitly send this uh, fall through attributes to that particular component or the particular element you can apply it so fine so these are the things we have learned it now the last one what i want to explain is that how can we access this fall through attributes in the javascript right so we have used it in the template and wherever we want we can use it so now how can i apply it in the uh, how can i check it in the javascript so if i want to use it in the javascript how can i check it so for that one what we have is so we have a method so or otherwise we have a use attrs api here you can write constant attrs is equal to use attrs so this should be imported from the view and if you try to see console.log attrs okay and if you see the output for this one see example and here we are able to see this one all right right so we are able to get it so this is this this attrs will be updated here you will be able to use it through this attrs Remember that when ATTRS things are changed, 
so this will not be invoked so nothing is there you cannot use the watcher or anything the only one thing which you can use is the on updated so in this on updated will be fired whenever the attrs will be changed so this is one thing you need to understand so this is all about the fall through attributes hope you understood about these fall through attributes or the attribute inheritance in the vue.js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you